Hello everybody and welcome back to Curse of the Dead Gods. In the previous episode, we beat the first challenge. We're onto the medium exploration now. Basically, the way that the explorations work in this game is the first one was literally just up until the first boss and the second one includes the first boss but also includes the second one as well. We managed to get ourselves two blessings. This one here, while you're attacking, you take 50% less damage and damage does not interrupt you. Very, very nice indeed. And also, we also got the favor of Sitchil. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but we get a thousand gold at the start of every exploration. That is very, very, very valuable. And we don't have much more crystal skulls to do anything else with, so we're gonna head straight in. There has been a patch since the last time we um since the last time we played this game. Basically, they changed up a few things. They made bows a little stronger. I think they made pistols a little stronger. They changed how da how daggers work. Um, they added a new a new item in, I think, and they did a few more miscellaneous fixes. First off, because we're already starting with gold, I'm actually going to go straight for a relic. I think that's going to be really good for us. And we can actually make our way towards another relic from this, and I often find that the relics are pretty damn useful. Uh, do excuse me starting out if, on this if I am quite bad at the game again. It has been a little while since I played this. Um, as I've been saying in my roguelike roulette series, I know this isn't technically part of that series, but it's a new roguelike I've been playing. I've been trying to play them um, sort of later as the uh, as the videos come out, just so you guys can give me feedback and all that sort of stuff. I want to be sort of up to date with you guys and making sure you're not missing out on the sort of interactiveness of the comment section sort of thing. But, managed to get a first kill there, and we got ourselves a weapon already, and it's a two-hander as well, which is amazing for us. Very amazing indeed, so let's pick that up. So, that is a two-handed weapon that has fire attacks. That's going to be very valuable for us. Very valuable. That, that could end up being um, a weapon we use a lot, and if you don't know, you can bash open walls with those, which is very, very nice. I haven't mentioned that before, but in case you forgot, you can do that. Go get ourselves a little extra gold here. Unfortunately, the um, the fire that's at the end of the Jaguar hammer doesn't actually illuminate the area. I didn't expect it to, to be honest, but it would have been nice if it did. There you go. Make sure I get out of the way of that. But yeah, we want to be keeping our torch out here, but then we can use our hammer. And it's also going to be able to like braziers and enemies and fire. I mean, look at that. That's a two hit kill. That's such a good wombo combo right there. And we can even interrupt. Oh, that's that's going to be so, so very nice. And we're coming into this with 1,300 gold, meaning we can get, unfortunately, just the first relic, which isn't great. Um, we can get the offering removes five corruption there um, for 700 gold. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that, you know. Um, offering gold, removing five corruption isn't exactly great, but the extra dexterity is nice. I believe dexterity affects our gold find. Oh, no, it actually affects our damage. So we actually gain 6% extra damage for that, which is rather nice indeed. Uh, so we can either go this way and go for stats or go this way and go for double gold relic. I'm going to go for double gold relic, I think, because by the time we get to that next relic, we should have enough money to actually purchase it. Um, or, or hopefully purchase all of the available ones. Um, so that would be really, really nice, and that's going to give us a nice leg up. And like I said, I do find that the uh, the relics are, in part, some of the more favourable things to get. You can get some really interesting ones. I mean, able to remove corruption already is pretty big for us. You can definitely tell with this giant jaguar hammer, the um, the heavy weight of the weapon is meaning it's taking us a lot longer to strike with it, and that could lead to us getting hit later on. But I think for right now, we'll be absolutely fine. That was a, a nice bomb there, though. I just want to kill that guy. Gotta be very careful here. I'm just gonna light some fire with this and get the heck out of the way. Alright, get ourselves the crystal skull. I'll also go and get ourselves that gold as well. And if we ever, ever see these, we wanna be going into them. Especially the easy to confirm relics, and one just did. 10% base damage for maces, that doesn't really affect us right now, but I suppose we could play into the strength of that later if we see a mace available for purchase. We might just want to buy it, so I am definitely nice to have nonetheless. Oh my god, 71. It's annoying how close that um, enemy is to death there. We actually got ourselves a new weapon here straight away. So we got ourselves a Makana. Um, deals critical uh, strike when there's only one enemy nearby. It's exactly the same damage, but it's going to deal better crits. So, honestly, not a bad one to have in our roster. Oh, we did lose a little bit of health there, but it's nothing major. I think we should be fine. Alright, let's make sure we have our torch out for all of this. You have to be very, very careful about the spikes. They, they can... Catch you off with a guard and deal a whole heckin' ton of damage. 
So I do think, yeah, I do think they're about to explode, but stir the hell out of the way of those. Um, wait until the fire disappears and then we'll get that gold. And we're coming out of this room with almost the exact same gold that we left the, um, the last relic thing with, which is really, really nice considering we have one more gold room ahead of us. I think that's actually pretty damn nice indeed. Um, and we've all, we're already going to be on three relics by the time we get through that room. Let's hope for another close to a thousand from this. That would be really nice. Oh, this seems like it's a very... Yeah, actually, this is a very fast attacker. It'd be nice if weapons showed their attack speed on it. That would actually be really, really nice. So get that gold first off. I'll let these guys do their thing. And I'll let you guys do your thing. I'll light some braziers about. Light some braziers. There you go. These guys are going to be a pain, but I actually think... Ooh, ooh, bad. Oh, that was really bad. We just took a lot of extra corruption damage there for almost no reason, which is slightly annoying. That was basically just me being a bit stupid. I got caught in my animation. As I said, I knew it would be a problem, but we got caught in that animation there, and it really did do an extra bit of damage that we really shouldn't have taken there, but it's fine, it's fine. We'll be okay. The good thing is as well, actually, that I haven't really even spoken about we can use the fire when it lights enemies up, rather than braziers, which is really, really nice, actually. Avoid you, avoiding using braziers is good. There you go. Jaguar Claw, that's even more fire damage coming from our mace here, which is just brilliant. We always want more fire damage. And if we could build on that even further, that would be brilliant. Unfortunately, we're not quite coming out of this uh, room with as much gold as I was hoping, but... Yeah, unfortunately, we're not actually going to be able to get any more gold, I don't think. Sadly, there isn't any area where we can get any more. We are definitely going to be taking our first curse here, though. Unfortunately, I took an extra 30 corruption in that room than I should not than I should have done by taking a few extra hits. Volatile remains. I believe this means that enemies explode after death. That may sound like a completely negative curse, but you can actually use that as a positive in order to um, get a little bit of extra damage on enemies, as long as you can handle the chain reaction. It does make using certain things a little more difficult. So, as you can see, like, this hammer is actually... Whoa! Excuse me, sir. This hammer is actually quite dangerous for us to use now. We've actually got another one of these here. Um, I'm fine, thank you. I'll stick with the one I have right now. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's going to make it a little more difficult for us because we are going to have to get the hell out of there as soon as we end up um, killing an enemy. Which can be problematic for us, definitely. But I, I should think for the most part, we can get out of the way. We've just got to make sure to manage our dodges correctly. And I, I aren't particularly good at that yet, but it's something I'm looking to improve at. But as you can see there, we've got a nice chain reaction straight off the bat. I think for the most part, we're going to be able to get pretty good chain reactions. I mean, we've got, we got one right there, look. We didn't quite kill that guy, which is rather annoying. Okay, that guy dropped his skull. God damn, got that guy. And two more strikes and this guy should get him. There you go. Yeah, the good thing about the uh, the two-hander, actually, though, is we do have a little bit of extra reach, meaning that, for the most part, we can actually hit enemies from outside of the explosive radius, which is really nice. Unfortunately, we're just a little bit off of this. Passing through a door inflicts less corruption would be really nice. Um, offering gold is going to heal us. No single... Damage source can exceed 50% of max HP. That sounds really, really good. Um, I'm not 100% sure how, how amazing that's going to be, but it's, it's definitely going to help out. And we just lost a little bit of extra corruption there, which is rather nice. And we can head into the next room, which is going to be gold again. I think we probably go for double question mark in this scenario. I think double question mark is going to be very... Um, tantalizing, should I say, uh, because there's some things that we could get that would be very, very useful. It's not, not, not words, but some. Ho, 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 ho. Beautiful. And there we go. We got actually, we've actually got a mace there, so we can play into that now uh, with the extra four damage. Deals criticals against burning enemies. Now, that is actually going to work really, really well for us because we can we can use that when we're out of stamina in a, in a little bit of a wombo combo scenario. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure that the enemies that are trying to pounce at us don't get too close, but for the most part, we actually just chain reactioned all of those boys. 
as you can see here, critical damage, dealing at 40 on a crit there with, with our mace. And our mace attacks much faster and doesn't use stamina for most of its attacks as well, only on the, uh, the final attack, which is really nice. And base damage for pistols, again, really not that useful for us at all, to be honest, but not terrible either. And we've actually got the exact same thing here, which is kind of a shame. Hope, hoping to get something a little better than that. Either way, let's head on. And like I said, we're going to go for our unknown. I do like the unknowns there. Not bad at all. Could get some really nice ones. There's one room that I really love where it's like a, a big old pot of gold above your, uh, like in the middle of the room. You got to kill a certain amount of enemies and that pot drops uh, depending on how fast you kill all of those enemies. That's excellent. Absolutely excellent. So this enemy did actually manage to escape with his life. But look at that. That's, that's brilliant. So these enemies we really don't want to bother relying on fire damage for at all. I did move out the way a little early there, but did on purpose. Wow. That's insane damage, that. That is very, very nice indeed. Get ourselves that. I tend to try not to roll everywhere like I'm doing right now to be faster, just in case I end up needing it. The Titan Slayer is nice, but we're going for a fire build now, I think, and I think the fire build is working reasonably well. We can't... We can't pass up the opportunity, really. We'll, we'll, we'll keep on building to it. And I haven't really used the Jaguar Hammer too much myself anyway, so I do want to I do want to make use of it. Oh, look at the chain reaction. Look at that chain reaction. There you go. Oh, so I am actually quite liking this. We've actually got a sword here. Fire charge attacks. Ooh, baby. Blazing sword. I've not even the blazing blade. Sorry, I've not even seen that yet. But I am going to go for the, uh, the 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 guaranteed crit. I think the guaranteed crit chance is really nice. We actually got a relic room here, so we can get ourselves each greed kill removes one corruption with perception of a gold offering. Um, let's offer up some gold here and go for um, each greed kill removes one corruption. It's not exactly the most in the world, but greed kills do happen pretty damn regularly. And we've got to think we're building for the long con here. We're trying to build up for a lot later on in the run where we're facing the second boss, which I have beaten once before. A very difficult boss, quite a challenge. We are going to need a pretty good run to make it work. Okay, we do have a big boy here. We do have a big boy. Normally can be avoided relatively easily. You just gotta be a bit more cautious with him and obviously pay attention to when I when he's doing certain attacks. Normally he runs at you before his choreographed attacks, so we can or he does this. We can actually kind of stay out the way of him fairly easily. Unfortunately, I kind of messed that one up. But there you go, we got him. And we opened a secret room wall with it. Not that we needed to exactly, but it was nice to get the actual extra combo there, so I do not mind at all. A little bit of extra gold. Got to be careful because some of these have Jaguar statues in them. They're a bit, a bit cheeky like that. Like that one there. Go away, Jaguar. And we've got a few spikes here. Shouldn't have to worry about them too much at all. Spikes are pretty damn easy to get over in this situation. Okay, so let's bash you. Okay, didn't quite get either of those there, which I'm, I wasn't expecting to be honest. It's annoying that we're leaving on such low health. It's, it's, it's a shame that the burn doesn't do a little bit of extra DOT. It'd be nice to get some damage over time effects. And there you go. That's our first bit of damage from explosions. It was bound to happen eventually. I mean, it just was. But it is just a shame that we uh, we took our first one there. We've been doing so well in not hurting ourselves. But it's a shame to see that we've taken so much damage there. Okay, so we'll get that guy. Oh, no. It happened again. Unfortunately, it's going to be a regular occurrence. That hit me. What? So that's a bit of a shame. I did not think that was going to hit me there. And you can see already our life is getting low. Restore 75% of max HP when a curse is lifted. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the corruption for that. That's incredibly useful. Basically, when we kill this next boss, we get healed up to full. That sounds immensely useful. Um, we'll get rid of... Base damage for pistols. I particularly don't care about that one. And we're on to our champion. We are going to inflict another curse on ourselves here. But we will get to get rid of one. The explosions right now is kind of annoying. So we'll see what we end up getting here. Raging Temple honestly isn't that bad. Um, I do believe this makes this fight a little harder though. Which is a shame. Uh, I do believe there is some Jaguar statues in this fight here. 
So we'll wait for him to do his thing, and then... You always got to remember, it's very easy to kill these guys, but they are going to explode. It's going to deal a little bit of extra damage to the boss, which is actually really nice to know. But you can see there's a Jaguar statue right there. We can use it to hurt the boss a little bit as well, which is nice. You've got to remember that. And it did indeed hurt the boss a little bit there. I'm not going to do the wombo combo. I need to let my stuff refill. Got to have all of my stamina ready for whenever he does that. Need to be ready for it. Refresh my stamina. Get the dog. And refresh my stamina again. I've got used to this fight now. I'm a little better at it. It's just, it's, it really is more than anything a game of stam stamina management. I mean, the whole game is a game of stamina management, but more so this fight than any other. And that was a really bad bit of damage there. Really bad bit of damage indeed. Really didn't need to take that at all. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't going well. I was doing so well of not taking stupid damage, and it's all fallen apart so quickly. I mean, we're still avoiding the, the spears for the most part, but I did take a little bit of damage there, but I just realised I destroyed one of those Jaguar statues, which definitely makes things a little easier. I'm actually going to try and push this explosion into him, along with deal a crit to him there, which is very nice. A little bit extra. And there you go. We got him. And we should get a nice amount of health back after this, which for me was more than worth the extra cast we take. Um, so we can get rid of the volatile remains is going to be the one that we need to get rid of. We're getting so close to enemies. And there you go, back up to full health. Very, very nice indeed. We can gain 30% extra damage in darkness, which isn't going to be particularly useful for us. But at the same time, I can't say no to it. So I'm probably going to get rid of the base damage from maces because we're not particularly using that too much. And we'll check this as well. Um, we can get rid of a bit more corruption if we really wanted to. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that there. One second, I do I do want to just check what did that add to us. Perception. So now we've got a lot of extra gold find, which I don't particularly care about. But honestly, that's not too bad at all. Um, we're going to be getting a, a nice amount of um, corruption removal, which is really good. Extra damage on our, basically our first hit to enemies, because we're going to be lighting most enemies on fire, which means we're not going to be fighting in darkness very often. But it does mean we can get a nice, hefty hit on our first hit on an enemy. We've actually got a haven straight away here. We do not need a haven, unfortunately. So, trying to think what's going to be best. But we're all full upon relics, so let's try and go for stats, shall we? We'll go for question mark and straight into stats. Um, I probably should have looked a little further on in the path there to see really what was going to be the most useful. But I think for now, this is going to be absolutely fine. Uh, this is actually one of the ones we wanted most of all. This is going to be very, very nice for us. So we light this up, and then we just got to kill these enemies as fast as possible, which is not particularly bad for us. Right, focus for one second here. Yeah, okay, kill this guy. I think this guy's a champion, actually. Yeah, he is. Fortunately, is a champion, which is going to make this fight take significantly longer. Let him do his thing. And two more hits, I think. Three more. Wow. So we only got 550 gold there, which is kind of pathetic for this room. But at the same time, 550 is nothing to smirk at. Like, it's nothing to turn our nerves apart. It's still very... Very high amounts of gold. Very happy about that. Um, I'm on to stats now, and we should be able to afford basically any of the stats available. I'm really hoping for the max health plus extra damage. That's my favorite one in terms of stats. I really do think they should um, broaden the stat wheel a little more now. Uh, there is there is definitely other stats that we could be improving these stat things, and right now it's very, very linear in terms of what they give you to upgrade. Can we finish this guy off? Yeah. Got him. And we actually got one of these as well. Offering gold, we don't want to really get that. I'm not that bothered about that. I'm going to take a look at these corners and edges here. Make sure there isn't a cheeky chest hiding in one of the corners. I mean, there often is chests lying about the place. We've got to make sure. We check every possible avenue to make sure we don't leave any behind. Because they could be incredibly valuable for us. So. I'd rather never leave them if possible. 
And we've got a little, little, little extra bit of cheeky gold here as well. Don't think so, laddie. Don't think so. Can't get me today. Yeah, can't even be doing it. Yeah, can't even be doing it. Alright, we should be just about done with this room now. Oh, we've actually got a primal one of these guys. I don't know why I think they're called primals. It's, primal's actually a term from Diablo. Um, well, it's a, prime from, it's, 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 it's a term from a lot of different things, but it always reminds me of Diablo at least. Um, and for some reason, I associate the champions in this game with primals. I think it's just because of the Mayan like, look to everything. It just kind of fits really well. And at least for me, they might even be called that. I might have seen it somewhere, and that's why I'm even having it in my head right now. But for me, at least, it just fits really well. We need to get rid of that healer, because he's going to be a real pain in the ass otherwise. That was a hefty bit of damage there. It's, it's interesting to see that we can interrupt the champions as well. Oh my god, we're taking some bad damage here. Don't worry, we'll have this guy taken care of very soon. There you go. Well, that's our first bit of stats. I don't really care too much about gold find, so let's just go with the max health for now. Honestly, gold find is one of those ones where it's good on the really long adventures, or if you get it early, but otherwise, it's not that useful. It's really not that useful at all, uh, which is a shame, because we're not on the longer expeditions yet where we're going to be needing all that gold find, so it's a little bit of a waste when it comes up, a little bit of a waste. Okay, we've got a few. Oh, we got all primals of these guys. Okay, okay, okay. But let's let's make sure that this um, trigger guy isn't gonna hit us before we do anything. It's very nice to hit every single one of them there. It's very annoying that the entire floor is on fire everywhere. Get you. We're just losing health always because everything is on fire. Right, one last dodge. I mean, I haven't really been using the charge attacks as you just saw there. I just used one at the end there. I haven't really been using those at all, to be honest. Uh, we've got the Seeker's Mace. Hmm. Okay. Now, that's going to be difficult because we're going to be doing less damage with that. But 1% max HP for a kill is certainly appetizing to me. Certainly appetizing to me. Um, I could I could go for that. Okay, we've got two healers. Oh, thank God. I, I, was, I was thinking maybe do they heal each other? They don't. Good. I actually got a perfect dodge there. If you get a perfect dodge, you don't have to you don't have to use stamina. Which is really nice. Okay, so we might want to use the hammer a little bit now just for some weak healing. Um damn it. That is nice, but we, we can't take that right now. We got ourselves another relic. Um base damage for spears we don't need, so let's not bother with that right now. Okay, these are annoying. These are really annoying. We've got to just be as quick as we can. And I think we've got to kill all the enemies as well, which is annoying. Looks like we do. Okay. Actually doesn't matter. We can just let them kill. Let them die. Just let them all die. Alright, we're on to weapons now. Unfortunately, taking another curse here. Let's hope it's nothing atrociously bad. It very well could be. There is a few curses in the game that can really ruin you. False Bounty is one that I don't particularly care about. Opening gold chest inflicts corruption. A gold chest contains more gold. Basically, if we want to take the risk and get more gold, we can. But often, I don't think it's worth it. Let's take that guy on. It might actually be worth doing this. So, one, two. Yep, yeah, that seems like it's going to be worth it. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking this. The extra damage certainly is welcome. I did not see that corruption ball coming at us there at all. Alright, get you out of the way. I got the corruption one done and out, which is nice. Nice bit of exit. Oh, damn it. 
You go for the healing and you get hit for that much, that's the same. Alright, keep on going with this guy. There we go, we got him. A bit of extra healing there. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this situation. Let's just take this guy out as quickly as we can. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bad. Okay, so don't even bother trying to hit these guys with normal melee. Oh, it seems that these orb things take reduced damage from um, fire, maybe. Is that the case? It seems that they're taking much longer to kill with fire than he, than he does with this thing. Another 33, another 33. Oh my god. This did not go well, boys. This did not go well. Big boy. Can you not? I mean, this guy didn't help either. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. But let's just call it a miracle, shall we? Call it what it is. Uh, that's a nice bit of healing there. Not exactly enough, I, I know, but... There, get you gone. My god, that was... That was a room that really clouted us there. Um... 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 Yes... I mean, we're incredibly close to buying it with cash, which is annoying. Um, if there is there any cash we can get, it's an, it's annoying because I passed through some behind in that last room, I think, and, and that I was running with a bunch of cash. That's really a shame. So I, I'm gonna take it though. I mean, you know me. I, I like the risk, and we actually get an extra thirty percent damage while using it, so I don't mind. We have lost our fire build, but. It's all in the name of healing. 10% healing. On Was it on hit or on kill? I think it was on kill. If it was on hit, it'd be insane. Either way, I like it. Blinding greed. Another one I don't particularly care about. So yes, yeah, so this works by attacks. Okay then. Okay then. That's going to be kind of insane. Okay, just get hit like a million times in a row. Does it use two per hit or something? I got hit so much then. It's hardly even worth getting this. Took a bit of corruption. Got some of that though. No, thank you. God. It's dangerous. I had a secret room back this way as well. I'm going to die just because I keep getting hit by stupid stuff. Like that. Like that. Yeah, this could be dangerous for me. This could be real dangerous for me. Right. That's not going to be good for us, is it? I forget that all the Jaguar statues are triggered now. That wasn't too bad. We actually got a decent amount of healing out of that. 20% all healing effects. That sounds awesome. We can get rid of the fire attacks one now. Okay, that, that should be very, very useful for us. Into the next room. Let's go for stats, shall we? We've got plenty of gold to spend, so stats is going to be good for us. I just want healing. I just need healing. If you're wondering why I'm not lighting the braziers to take less damage, it's because I deal 30% extra damage in the darkness. I want that. 
at all times. Okay, that was a good amount of healing there. Good amount of healing. Right, what we got now? More of these bad boys. I'm sorry, but... I don't care about this. Let, 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 let's just let this light itself. Kaboom. Kaboom. Nothing there. Nothing even there. Un unless, I suppose, maybe... Yeah, there's something here. <gasps> wow. That's a lot of spikes. This was not even slightly worth it. That was like so little amount of gold for that much trouble. That was way too much trouble for that. God damn. Get these guys. Make sure they're out of the way. I think I can cancel his attack animation. I can indeed. Just keep wailing on him. There we go. Okay, that's actually the best way to deal with them. 50% critical damage as well. Um, yeah, let's get, let's go with that. Okay, this is definitely going to help us in the boss fight, considering it's um, ten. It's a uh, ten percent of the damage we deal. Uh, oh wait, steal ten percent HP. I don't exactly know how that even works. So that might mean that we steal a ton of HP from bosses. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure if it means 10% of the damage we deal or not. It's it's strangely worded. Um, let's just go with a double there. We might as well. Not that we need the gold find, but we have so much gold. Right, on to the next bits. And we've got a relic. That actually could be really nice. There's some really high quality and high, uh, high tier relics out there that could benefit us massively. Anything healing wise for the boss fight would be really nice. Getting up to full health for that boss fight would be very, very good. God, I hate when that happens. You just get locked into an animation and you're sucked into an explosion. It's just terrible. Oh my God, that was close. Yeah, I don't even want to. I don't even want to get involved with that. Just keep moving. Just get out the way. Go away, Jack. Your statues. Good, good, good. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I think the, the legendary quality of them guys is this just the attack master. They seem to attack way quicker. Yeah, they seem to like load up and then do a new attack faster. And obviously they have a lot more health. I mean, that's obvious though. Nice. And our health is getting way up there now. Even more critical damage. Uh, let's go with that there. I'm trying to just get our critical damage up as much as possible because the removing corruption now just is not worth anything to us because, for one, we're getting damage on each curse, so it's kind of helpful to get curses. Ooh. Consume, uh, consume to restore 50% of max HP when fit, taking a fatal blow. Let's... Oh, it's so annoying that we're so close to the gold again. Um, level plus one on two-handed weapon. 40% uh, to all healing effects. If, he, if healing effects means getting healed by our weapon too, this is by far the right choice. Um, yeah, let's let's just go with that one. Although the legendary one sounds really cool, I think the Chalice of Vigor is going to be awesome for us. Um, and in fact, actually, it's perfect to remove that because we're not going to be able to remove a curse here because this will be our last boss. Here we are, onto the champion. I'm semi-confident here. I, I think we've got a decent chance, and with the extra how much healing now, we've got an extra... 40% plus 20. We've got an extra 60% healing. If that is affected by the sword, which I assume it is, unless it's a flat 10%, but it shouldn't be. So this guy's kind of cool. Basically, the way he works is... Oh my god, I can't believe hit me already. He drops bombs everywhere, and then he does a little whip attack, as you can see there, that lights the bombs up, and they... Oh my god, I need to be careful. We're getting good healing, though. We're getting good healing. We can destroy the bombs as well. He does have an alternate form, too, that you've got to watch out for. When his alternate form comes along, he becomes a corrupted version that's much, much faster and more deadly. 
and deals corruption damage too, so it could curse us. Right, good, good. Go for him. And we should have got him into his back to his normal form now. There you go. Let him whip away. Oh my god, this healing is so valuable. He's going to whip again. Okay, yeah, I, th I think we've got this because we're actually gaining more health than we are, like, taking damage right now. Simply because we've just got the moves to get away from him and then the healing to strike right back at him. Perfect, actually. We should be going back into his ghostly form now. The bombs are actually being very kind to us too, which is nice, which is rare. They're placing very evenly across the board for us to get out of the way. Also, our critical damage is so high right now. And there you go. I think, I think we've actually got him here. That was an amazing build. That weapon at the end there absolutely saved our life. And that is another win. And we're on to the, um, onto the next exploration, which is a hard one. Obviously going to take us much, much longer. Probably going to be hard to beat, and I haven't even seen this next boss yet. So I imagine it's going to be something that takes me quite some time to beat. But either way, this legendary sword, the Blood Weeper, um, is amazing. It, it really saved our life. And we got to use its active effect pretty nicely by stacking up some curses. And here we go down in. We got 56 skulls going into the next area and we unlocked a new slot for our blessings. So we can actually go and have a little look-see before we end off the video at our blessing slots and see if we can fill another one of those up with one of the better looking, um, better looking blessings. So as you can see, we've got another slot. We've unlocked this one here, which is Greed kills, restore one more stamina, that could be nice. We've got successful, successful parries, don't care about parries, I'd n never use them. Your greed kill count increased by one if an enemy is defeated while in a different fighting stance. So basically I think that means if we use a lot of different weapons, we get more greed kill counters, which is kind of interesting. Um, when you defeat a champion, the gold you carry is doubled. That could be very interesting as well. Um, gear found in chests or dropped by enemies has a high chance of being higher quality. That sounds amazing. Um, champions drop five pieces of gear instead of two. So that also sounds really nice. So I, I think it makes most sense to save up and go for this divine perception one. Uh, we've only, we only need four more of these fav favors. So maybe I'll go with that. Uh, I could also get some divine favors to do some re-rolling. I think I'll actually go for one of those and make sure I have at least one because uh, they carry over. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to maybe do a little bit of off-camera farming for some skulls. I just do like one run, um, a basic run that we're in the in the um, the first category, the first exploration, and try and get that them extra nine skulls to unlock that because that could be very very useful. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is a very interesting game. As you can see, we're working our way through the content pretty fast. I did say this was going to be a pretty short series, probably only going to be like a few more episodes maybe up to five depending on how long it takes to get through a hard exploration either way i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and i'll see you guys in the next one